fact that Michelle Bachman came out a winner? <laughs> I know, I know we're in her home, her home state, but like, yeah. Michelle Bachman won simply because she didn't take a crack on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was like, the whole time they're like, well, she seems reasonable. That's not what you're supposed to, that's not how you win. <laughs> you don't win because you didn't actually chew on cardboard on the stage. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm a big fan of Republicans. Big fan right now. Because they're amazing. Not because they're good people, they're not. They're amazing because they're the most entertaining thing to watch on television ever, you know? Forget the Kardashians. I want to know what the Bachmans are doing. That's what I want to know. Michelle Bachman is magic on a stick, okay? Michelle Bachman says crazy shit and then looks at you like you did something wrong. <laughs> Michelle Bachman doesn't know the rest of us can hear her. <laughs> but I don't know, like at this point, Michelle Bachman talks so much shit, I'm starting to think she gets paid by the log. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I don't even believe Michelle Bachman has that, like, like, like a, a bathroom in her house. I feel like she just has like a pile of history books. And she just takes constant urinations on them. She doesn't care about history. Do you remember, yes. did you hear when she was uh, uh, addressing that conference and she was talking about the Founding Fathers? Yes. Michelle Bachman decided to explain to us. She said, hey, hey, hey. The Founding Fathers worked tirelessly, tirelessly to free the slaves. <laughs> All of collective black Americans said, what? <laughs> No one told us. <laughs> you can't work tirelessly to free the slaves if you currently own slaves. Mm. <laughs> what a guilty clap. Da, 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 da. White guilt claps are awesome. <laughs> Everyone's just like, I don't know what to do. He's talking about slavery. What's supposed to happen now? <laughs> The Negroes are talking about slavery. <laughs> oh man, and, and, and seriously, like my mom, like my mom, my mom won't come to my comedy shows anymore because she says I curse too much. She says I use too much dirty language. And she's like, could, could you just stop? Could you just not say like the, those words you say? And I'm like, but how else am I going to tell Herman Cain to go f himself? <laughs> I'm a, a businessman, I, 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 this is how government needs to run. That's like the worst thing, like, like misconception ever. Government is not supposed to run like your pizza business, man. <laughs> the best part of the debate is they were asking those asinine questions, you know, they're like, like they're just like to rap, what's your favorite, Pepsi or Coke, you know what I mean? And they, and they got to uh, Herman Cain, and they were like, what type of pizza? Deep dish or thin crust? And he was like, deep dish. <laughs> I felt like he was answering the wrong, the wrong question. I felt like he thought they asked, what's your sexual style? <laughs> deep dish. <laughs> oh, it's magic. The whole, like, at this point, do we, are, are we actually afraid of Republicans in the 2012 election? I'm afraid. I'm sorry, guys. Like, you guys, I think you guys are underestimating stupid people. The fact is that, the fact, when they were all on stage together and he said, hey, hey, what do you think about the rest of the people on stage? And they were like, listen, America would be lucky to have anybody on the stage. I was like, holy shit, we're fucked. <laughs> they are out of their mind.